Hi, welcome back, and now we'll finally get round to importing this hoodie into our 3D software and UV unwrapping it. So we're going to do that straight away, and all you have to do is click File, Save As, and then there's only two file formats you can actually save it as, which is a Topogon scene file or a .obj. So I'll save it as a .obj, and I will save it as hoodie LP in my desktop. And now I'm going to go into Blender, my 3D software, and I'm going to do this a little differently. Instead of telling you every single shortcut I do and all this, I'm going to presume you have some sort of knowledge of the 3D software you're going to use. So to do this, we're going to do File, Import, and I'm going to import a .obj, and I'm going to find where I put my model, so I put it on the desktop, and place this into the world. Now first thing you'll notice is this is off the ground with its origin point in the middle at 000. That's because of how it was exported in Marvelous Designer and so in Topogun it also does the same thing. So we have to keep its origin below the actual model. So I'm also going to right click on this again to make sure it knows it's selected and click smooth. And now I'm going to start unwrapping the model. So I'm going to split my screen and do the UV slash image editor to get my UV up. And as you can see, this has already been unwrapped before. So I'm just going to clear the seams and I'm going to click unwrap. And this is how you notice without any seams, it's what it looks like. It's just a big circle and then right down in the center is the sleeves and the hood. And obviously we need to change that. So to UV unwrap properly, you need to select points that won't be seen by the player. So I'm going to select this point in the actual shoulder going underneath the arm. And same again on the other side and click mark seam. And that's going to split the sleeves off from the body, as you can see here. Next, we want it to go underneath the arm. So we'll choose this one and this one, and because of how we've retopologized this, it may get seen from behind here, however it might not do, and during the texture process we can take into consideration this seam. So we'll click mark seam here. Now you'll see when we unwrap this, we have our sleeve separated from our hoodie's body. The next thing I want to do is do the shoulder parts where they join, mark seam. I'm going to have to mark the seam around the hood as well. Now I unwrap it you'll see we get these separate parts of the body allowing them to have more pixel density each. So for good UV unwrapping you want each part of your mesh to have the same pixel density ratio. So when you're texturing you don't have more detail in the sleeves than on the body as in the detail is finer. Now with this hood, we're going to try and give it some good pixel density as well. And I might mark the seam here. Then I'm going to align these on the Y axis, so the straight and scale it up a bit. Now I'm going to select the arms and move these off to the side and now we're going to try and package this in the most effective way possible. So we want this part of the body to probably have the most screen space, well, both parts of the body. And obviously the arms will have the second most. With the hood taking up the final amounts available. So I'm going to scale the hood down and move it up, move up the sleeves, see if we can scale. And that's it, that's our mesh now UV'd and ready to be textured. And now we can take this back into Topogun to bake textures to it. So to get ready to do that we're going to do File, Export, export it as our OBJ and do Selection Only to make sure only that is exported. 
we will overwrite our low poly object, go into topple gun, and the reason we can't just use this is because it has no UV maps, we can't bake textures to it. So I'm going to clear my scene, which gets rid of the retopologized mesh, and load up the one from my desktop, selecting .obj by clicking load scene. Give it a moment to process that and apply it to this mesh. And now we have our hoodie back and as you can see it's exactly the same. The final thing we'll do for this video is bake. So we'll click bake, generate maps and we're going to export these at 4K. Now the reason I'm exporting them at 4K is because we're using these to texture our mesh. We're not going to be using these in the game. Using the 4K will provide us with extra detail to use during the texturing process that we can then compress down into a lower format. So we're also going to choose a high sampling format to get the best quality bake we can. Uh, we're going to generate our normal map and you have to select a location to save these. So I'm going to save these in a folder and I'll just save this as normal map. And then I'm also going to generate a hardware ambient occlusion. Save this as AO map. Uh, leave skylight on, that just means the ambient occlusion will be baked as if it's in a sky dome, as if there's a sky around the mesh, so that's the best way to get some high quality. And that's the only thing we really need. Now we need to up the cage distance, so this blackness is over the high density mesh. So we'll keep clicking this until it's mostly covered. The thing you've got to worry about here with the hoodie is the extent. So we'll just see what it looks like at about 8. Mostly everything's included and this will still provide us with a good mesh. I'm going to go for about 8 and I'm going to exaggerate my normals to make it really protrude those crevices. And I'm going to click generate and now you'll just leave this for a while whilst it generates the mesh. Or as it generates the textures, sorry. And in the next video, we will use these textures to texture our hoodie. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. If your pins are otherwise, if you have any suggestions, questions, advice, or just want to leave a comment, say thank you, or hello, or whatever, leave it in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or you could hit me up on Twitter, which is at Sam underscore BA underscore Jones 97. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.